Tonight, a dramatic arrest of four accused members of an international crime ring believed to be responsible for installing ATM skimmers all across the Houston area. Marcelina Benito is giving us exclusive access to the high tech crime fighting hub that tracked them down to protect your money. Tyler, Texas, population 107,000, one of those Texas cities with that small town feel and a few blocks from its main drag inside this former fire station, the unusual home for a high-tech crime-fighting hub. There is no other uh, fusion center or intelligence center in the country, and as far as we know, the world, that does what we do. This is the Texas Financial Crimes Intelligence Center. The specialized unit led by Director Adam Colby has only been around two years, tracking organized crime, credit card skimmers, and other financial crimes. We are looking at criminals from all over the world, criminals that have come to the United States specifically to commit crimes. Those crimes taking a toll on Texans and their livelihoods. And the amount of money that they're actually stealing is staggering. Last year alone, the unit preventing the loss of or recovering more than $123 million. These guys are traveling all over the state and all over the country committing these crimes, and they're very, very hard to track. These aren't your everyday criminals. They have a clear-cut hierarchy right down to the point where they call the person that's at the very top, the godfather. The FCIC helps law enforcement agencies connect the dots and find them before they empty your bank account. Captain Jeff Roberts says it's unlike any crime investigation you can imagine. It is an ultimate cat and mouse game. And late last year, a major break, never before seen body cam video from Pearland PD shows one of the biggest busts yet. But to understand what happened, we have to start at the beginning, when police say four members of a Romanian crime family illegally crossed the Canadian border into Vermont and made their way to Houston. They also were working with other criminal groups. They allegedly inserted skimmers into ATMs at more than half a dozen Walgreens stores. At the Pearland Police Department, they gave us exclusive access to evidence, like the pinhole cam they mounted on ATMs to steal customers' pin numbers. Extracting the information back and putting it onto another piece of plastic so that you can use it. Law enforcement traced the suspect's car using flock license plate reader cameras. The FCIC helped link it to this Pasadena dealership where the suspects bought it using a fake passport. The level of sophistication here is about as high as you can get. What the suspects didn't know, Pearland PD was watching. They spotted them at this Walgreens as they withdrew cash from an ATM. That's when Pearland PD made their move. Turn around! making a pivotal traffic stop, taking down Dimitru Cataline Lixor and Marius Constantin Tika. Got him. The credit cards. In the car, Pearland PD found $14,000 in cash and over 300 re-encoded gift cards with stolen victim information. If you're talking monetary loss, huge impact. And you're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars that are known. Later that day, HPD raided this Airbnb rental in Sunnyside. Inside the home, police found a sophisticated skimmer manufacturing facility. They arrested Alexandru Jean Marcou and Gabriel Jean Bumachi. What's unheard of is to take down four people, find the location that they're manufacturing the skimmers, catch them on site doing something else. It was a huge success for every agency that was involved and a direct result of just the teamwork that's happening. All four suspects locked up now on a combined $44 million bond and could face up to life in prison for engaging in organized criminal activity. The FCIC says its role in helping dismantle this operation, proof what happens here, is working. We've managed to put quite a dent into these various criminal organizations that are, that are preying on Texans. We're just gonna need a lot more people to make it really happen and push this out of Texas. That is quite the operation. Marcelino Benito now joining us in Pearland tonight. Marcelino, so what can folks do to protect themselves here? 
Well, Len, there are three easy things folks can do tonight. For once, uh, tap to pay if it's an option for you. It's a lot easier and safer than swiping your card or using those chip card readers that we've so come to know in the last few years. Number two, experts recommend to use a credit card whenever possible as opposed to a debit card. That way, if you do become a victim, you're able to more easily dispute any fraudulent charges. And the third tip here really is, is the easiest. Experts recommend obviously turning to law enforcement, filing a report, reporting that crime in the first place. If you don't, it's very difficult for law enforcement to get involved or the FCIC that we featured in this story to get involved as well and help you ultimately solve your case. Yeah, Fine. a sophisticated operation taken down by an operation from law enforcement. Marcelino, great information. Thank you tonight.